Hello and thanks for joining us. This is Our Daily Bread Radio. Your host is Les Lamborn. To get better with age, get spiritually fit. Joe Stoll writes, Some people are obsessed with physical fitness, daily workouts, vitamins, organic food, in spite of the fact that our bodies keep ticking away in inevitable decline. In our 20s and 30s, we think we're invincible, but in the decades that follow, the eyesight starts to go, then the knees, then the mind. (laughs) Let's face it, trying to ensure long-lasting physical health is like trying to stem the tide with a pitchfork. And while it's true that the older we get, the worse we get physically, it doesn't have to be that way spiritually. Believe it or not, it's possible to get better with age. It's what the Apostle Paul meant when he said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16, Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. <laughs> Many of us fear aging with all the trouble it brings. But when we're gradually stripped of everything that props us up, whether wealth, independence, health, dignity, beauty, or all the above we're left with more and more of God. So no matter how old you are, it's not too late to dig deep into God's Word and invest more and more time in your spiritual well-being. You'll see the payoffs now and later. Remember, the older you get, the better you can become. Second Corinthians chapter four verses seven through sixteen puts the emphasis on developing the inner person of the heart, and I'll read from Second Corinthians chapter four verses seven through sixteen. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We're hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We're perplexed, but not in despair persecuted but not forsaken, struck down but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that grace having spread through the many may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. And as you think about today's meditation, remember this, to get better with age, get spiritually fit. My name is Les Lamborn. Thanks for joining us today. And we hope that you can join us again. Did you know that there's a printed version of Our Daily Bread? It's yours when you reach us on the Internet at getodb.org. That's www.getodb.org. Or you can call 1-800-443-5930. That's 1-800-443-5930. Our Daily Bread is furnished by RBC Ministries.